Sixth grade, module five, lesson seven, problem set. Number one, given the pairs of points, determine whether the segment that joins them is horizontal, vertical, or neither. So it really wants us to do this without um, drawing them on a table or coordinate plane. So for A, what I notice is that both of their Y coordinates are five. So if both of the y coordinates are the same, that means that it's going to be horizontal. So let me use this as an example down here. So if we have 3, 5 and negative 2, 5, 3, up. Oh. So there's 5 and then negative 2, 5 will be right there where d is. It a, forms a horizontal line because they're both always going to be crossing 5 on that y-axis. So if the y's are the same, they're crossing the y-axis making a horizontal line. Now if both of the x's are the same, so in E, or sorry, in example C, for example, both of the x's are the same. So that means that wherever negative seven is, so negative seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is right here. It's gonna be crossing at negative seven no matter where they are. So it will be a vertical, no matter where the Y is. So it will be a vertical line. Now, for example, we have negative four, nine, and four, negative nine. So the X's aren't the same and the y's aren't the same. So if neither of them are the same, then we're not gonna have a horizontal or a vertical line. It's probably gonna be like a diagonal line or something like that, um, which we could prove. Let's see, let's try negative four nine and four negative nine. So negative four and then nine's probably up there somewhere. And then four negative nine would be like down there. So yeah, it'd be a diagonal line, which is not horizontal or vertical. So this would be neither. All right, number two, complete the table using absolute value to determine the lengths of the line segments. Okay, so remember that we can find the distance by adding or subtracting the value, the absolute values, and we figure out if we need to add or subtract by if they are on the opposite sides of zero, then we add, and if they're on the same side, then we subtract. So I'm just gonna, so opposite, we add, the same side of zero, we subtract. So negative three, five, and seven, five. So where they're the same is five. So we have negative three and seven. So negative three and seven are on opposite sides of zero. Because negative three, seven would be, let's see, I'm gonna use this again. Negative three, seven would be up here and or negative three, five would be up there, and seven, five would be like somewhere over here. So they're on different sides. So there's the negative side, and there's the positive side. They're on different sides of zero. So that means I'm going to sub add them because they're on opposite sides. So the absolute value of negative three plus the absolute value of seven is equal to 10. So the distance here is 10. Let's see, CD is one negative three and negative six negative three. So they are different on their X values, X coordinates, and one's negative, one's positive, which means they're on opposite sides of zero. So let's find the absolute value of one plus the absolute value of negative six would be equal to one plus six is seven. So they are seven, the distance is seven. 2, negative 9, and 2, negative 3. So they differ on their y coordinates, and they are on the same side of 0 because they are both negative. So we're going to subtract the absolute value of negative 9 minus the absolute value of negative 3, 
would be equal to 6. Let's see, 6, 1 and 6, 16. So we're differing 1 and 16. They're both positive, so they're on the same side of 0. So the absolute value of 1 minus the absolute value of 16. We can really reverse those. Um, our answer is going to be absolute value anyway. It would be um, 15. So there are, the distance is 15. And then negative 3, 0 and negative 3, 12. We have 0 and 12. And 0 and 12 are technically on opposite sides of 0, or it really doesn't matter. You can add or subtract because it's 0. It's not going to make any difference whether you add 0 or subtract 0. Um, so this is the one case where it doesn't matter if you add or subtract. But I'm going to add absolute value of 0 plus absolute value of 12 is 12. So the distance there is 12. Okay, so on this next part, they have not given us the coordinates, so we need to find them ourselves. So AB, line segment AB is right here. And A is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So A is negative 7, 8. And B is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up to 8, so 5, 8. They are on opposite sides of 0, and they differ in the x-coordinate. So they're we are since they're on opposite sides, we're going to add so the absolute value of negative 7 plus the absolute value of 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. The distance is 12. Okay, BC, we already found B, it was at 5, 8. And C is right here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 5. So their differing coordinates are at, uh, at in the Y coordinate. And they're on the same side of 0 because they're both positive. So we're going to subtract absolute value of 8 minus absolute value of 5 is 3. So the distance is 3, which you can also look and see. You can check your work. So the distance here is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, C, D. So the point for C was 5, 5. And D is negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they are different in the x-coordinate. And they're on opposite sides of 0 because one's negative, one's positive. So we have the absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of negative 2 would be 5 plus 2 is 7. So they are 7 units apart. DE. D was negative 2, 5. E is... Let's see, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2, negative 4. And they are different in their y coordinates. And they are on opposite sides because one's negative, one's positive. So we're going to add absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of negative 4 would be 9. All right. E, F. E was at negative 2, negative 4. F is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7, negative 4. So they're different in their x coordinates. And since they're both negative, they're, we're going to be subtracting. So I'm going to do absolute value of negative 7. I'm just going to do in a way that's easier to subtract. So I'm going to put negative 7 first minus the absolute value of negative 2 would be equal to 5. And then FA, F was negative 7, negative 4. And A was negative 7, 8. So they're on opposite sides of 0. 
because we have negative 4 and 8. So we're going to add negative absolute value of negative 4 plus the absolute value of 8 is equal to 12. So the distance there is 12. All right, number four, same thing. So line segment AB is right here at the top. A is at negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So A is negative seven, eight. And B is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. So they differ in the x coordinate. And they're on opposite sides of zero. You can tell that by either looking at them and seeing this is in quadrant four, this is in quadrant one. Or you can see that negative 7 is negative and 8 is positive so they're on opposite sides one's negative one's positive so we're going to add absolute value of negative 7 plus the absolute value of 8 is 15. okay cg so here's c it's at negative or positive 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 3 and G is at, here's G, 3, 3. So they're on the same side of 0, meaning we're going to subtract, and their x coordinates are different. So the absolute value of 7 minus the absolute value of 3 is 4. So the distance is 4. All right, C, F. So C was 7, 3. And F is all the way over here. Here's F. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. And they're on opposite sides of 0, so we're going to subtract absolute value of 7 minus, or sorry, they're on opposite, so we're going to add plus the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 12. So their distance is 12. GF, let's see, here's GF right here. G f so g is at 3 3 and f was at negative 5 3 they're on opposite sides of 0 so we're going to add the absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of negative 5 is 8 distance is 8 d h here's d Here's h, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we have 5, negative 6, and h is at 0, negative 6, and we're going to find the difference by, if one of them is 0, we can add or subtract, so I'm just going to add the absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of 0 is 5. So the distance is 5. DE. So DE. There's D. Here's E. D was 5, negative 6. And E is negative 1, negative 6. So here they differ in their x coordinates. One is positive, one's negative which means they're on opposite sides, and we're going to add. So the distance is 6. H, J. Here's H. H was 0, negative 6. And J is all the way. Let's see. Let me get rid of some stuff here. I think J is on the, that intersection right there. So, and then J is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Not 8, 0, 0, 8. So they're different on the Y coordinate, and they're on opposite sides of 0. We're going to add the absolute value of negative 6 plus the absolute value of 8 is 14. And the last one, KL. Here's K. 
It's at negative one, two, three, eight. And L is at negative three, three. They're different in the x coordinate, but they're on this or the y coordinate. They're on the same side of zero, so we're gonna subtract. So absolute value of eight minus absolute value of three is five. Distance is five. Number five, name two points in different quadrants that form a vertical line segment that is eight units in length. So two points in different quadrants, meaning one, two, three, four. So they need to be in different quadrants that form a vertical line. So vertical line that's eight units in length. So let's just draw one and then label it. So I'm gonna use this chart up here and I'm just gonna draw a line that's eight units in length. Um, start there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then let's just label that. So we have two, one, two, three, four, two, four, and then we have two, negative four. So it's vertical, it's eight units in length, which we can prove with the proof, and they're in different quadrants. So that would work. Yours does not have to be that. There are infinite number of possibilities. So that's just what I chose to draw. And then name two points in the same quadrant. So this time the same quadrant that form a horizontal line segment that is five units in length. So just something that's five units in length. I'm gonna go over here. One, two, three, four, five. It's in the same quadrant. It's five units in length. We've got negative one, two, three, negative three. And we've got negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, negative three. Now you could have also done this without drawing. Um, all you need to do is make sure that your y coordinates are the same and that your x coordinates are sorry, negative eight, that your x coordinates are a distance of five units apart. Same with here. You just need to make sure that your um, x-coordinates are the same here and that your y-coordinates are eight units.